Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Microbiology Easy Notes. If you like this channel, please like, subscribe, comment and share today's topic capsule staining. So let's start. Many bacterial cells secrete extracellular material which is mucilaginous or sticky in nature. When it is tightly attached to the cell wall, it is called capsule and it cannot be washed off easily. Loosely attached layer is called glycocalyx layer. If you want to see detailed video on bacterial capsule and glycocalyx layer, click on the link displaying above. I will give it in description box below also. Capsule is located immediately exterior to the peptidoglycan layer of gram-positive bacteria and the outer membrane which is lipopolysaccharide layer of gram-negative bacteria. To observe the presence of capsule in bacterial cell, we require special staining procedures since capsule cannot be characterized by standard staining techniques. In the normal staining procedures, heat fixation is an essential step. However, with capsule, this step cannot be applied due to the presence of different types of polysaccharides and about 90% of water. Heat causes shrinkage and distortion of the capsule. Principle behind Capsule staining. Bacterial capsules are non-ionic, so neither acidic nor basic stains will adhere to their surfaces. Therefore, the best way to visualize them is to stain the background using an acidic stain like nigrosin, congo red, etc. and to stain the cell itself using a basic stain like crystal violet, safranin, basic fuchsia or methylene blue. In this case, capsule looks as a colorless halo. To understand negative and positive staining, please watch the video, link is displaying above, link is in description box below too. Methods of Capsule Staining The capsule staining employs various techniques among which the most common methods are Inyang method, Anthony's method, Manuel's method and his method. Inyang method Indiaing method is a type of negative staining method which stains both the bacterial cell and its background but not a capsule. As a result, capsule appears as a bright halo between the violet bacterial cell and a darker background. Two types of stain are used in this method. First is crystal violet which is a basic stain that stains the bacterial cell violet. Next is India ink, which is an acidic stain that stains cell's background darker. Capsule appears as a clear halo after the completion of staining process. Procedure of India Ink Method Take a clean, sterilized or grease-free slide. Add a drop of India Ink to the center of the glass slide. Prepare a smear by taking an inoculum from the bacterial culture and mix it with a drop of India Ink. Then allow the smear to air dry. Do not heat fix the smear. Flood a smear with the crystal violet stain and leave it for 30 seconds. Later, remove the extra stain by tilting a glass slide. Add a immersion oil to the stain area and observe it under the microscope. Anthony's method. Anthony's method is a type of positive staining method which stains the capsule along with the bacterial cell. This method makes the use of two reagents, crystal violet as a primary stain and 20% of copper sulfate solution as a decoloring agent and counter stain. Crystal violet stains the bacterial cell and background. The copper sulfate solution stains the non-ionic capsule. After staining, a bacterial cell appears violet, the background appears light violet and the capsule appears as a faint blue halo. Procedure of Anthony's method. Anthony's method involves the following steps. Take a clean, sterilized or a grease-free slide. Add a drop of crystal violet to the center of glass slide. Prepare a smear by taking an inoculum from the bacterial culture and mix it with a drop of crystal violet. Then allow the smear to air dry. Flood a smear with 20% of copper sulfate solution and leave it for at least 30 seconds. Later, remove the extra stain by tilting a glass slide. Add a immersion oil to the stain area and observe it under the microscope. Next is Manewal's method. Manewal's method is also a type of negative staining method which stains the bacterial cell and its background but not a capsule. As a result, capsule appears as a clear halo between the pink bacterial cell and the blue background. This method makes the use of two reagents. First is acetic stain 
that is Congo red and a special stain that is manual stain. The composition of manual dye includes 10% ferric chloride, 5% phenol, acid fusion, acetic acid and Congo red. After staining, we could see the specimen with the following microscopic observation. We can see a bacterial cell appears bright red pink, the background appears dark blue in color and capsule appears as a clear hello. Procedure of Manewan's method. Take a clean sterilized grease free slide, add a drop of 1% Congo red to the center of the glass slide. Prepare a smear by taking an inoculum from the bacterial culture and mix it with a drop of Congo red. Then allow the smear to air dry. Flood smear with the manual stain and leave it for at least one minute. Later remove the excess stain by tilting a glass slide. Add immersion oil to the stain area and observe it under the microscope. Last method is his method. The his method is also a type of positive staining that stain the capsule and the bacterial cell with a brighter background. This met method uses two reagents, namely crystal violet and copper sulfate solution. After staining, a bacterial cell appears dark violet, the background seems brighter in color, the capsule appears as a light violet color. Procedure of his method. Take a clean sterilized or grease free slide. Add a drop of crystal violet to the center of the glass slide. Prepare a smear by taking an inoculum from the bacterial culture and mix it with a drop of crystal violet. Then allow the smear to air dry. Flood a smear with the copper sulfate solution and remove the excess stain by tilting a glass slide. Add immersion oil to the stain area and observe it under the microscope. Thank you.